it's really quite crazy how cheap this is. $72 is less than $1 per minute for a lie flat seat. Ah, what's up travelers? I just got back from a long hike, but I'm gonna upload the video now, so I just need to say a few things before. Firstly, I wanna say I was planning on uploading this Thailander video since weeks back, so I obviously did not plan this based on the horrible, heartbreaking accident that just happened a few days ago at the Indonesian original Lion Air, and I just send my deepest thoughts and sympathies to the families. I was so heartbroken to hear about the incident. Do I think that Lion Air or Thai Lion Air are unsafe? I don't really know, it's hard to say. We don't know if the problem was the 737 MAX or any of that yet, and we shouldn't really speculate. But if you are really scared of flying or something, maybe choose another airline in the meantime before we know what the issue was. Also, before the video starts, I want to mention for all my Swedish viewers super quickly that there is a great, great, great bonus happening in Scandinavia right now on all Amex credit cards. I'm going to tell you a little more about it in the end of the video, so stay tuned for that, and I'll put a link below so you can read a little about it as well. But it's just going on for a week, so you really want to get on this right now. But without further ado, enjoy the video. Okay, I'll say one positive thing about... Don Wang Airport in Bangkok, which is that at least they have good airport views. So this is my Thai Lion Air E330-300, so, so random. I didn't even know this airline existed, and no less that they had long haul E330s with a live flat business class. So this bad boy is what I'll be taking to Phuket for the one and a half hour flight. I paid like $72 for a live flat seat, so talk about awesomeness. So I honestly think this cabin is really, really beautiful. Um, the only way to distinguish this seat from uh, what's it called, Oman Air and the other carriers that have these on some of their aircraft is that on those there is a stool down there which indicates that the seat goes flat. But here, there's just this little wall which means it's a recliner. We have more storage down here, some up there. I think that's, this seat is still really, really awesome, especially considering what I paid for it. It's so funny because I was searching flights from Bangkok to Phuket, originally thinking I would go on Thai, and then suddenly I just came across Thai Lion Air and I was like, I didn't even know there was a non-Indonesian Thai Lion Air, so I decided to go on the website and check it out. And there, there was an ad, it was like, Premium economy flatbeds. I was like, what? Premium economy flatbeds? So I checked it out, and a one-way fare was like 2,750 baht, which is insanely cheap. So I'm on this amazing product right now that I just happened to stumble across needing to get to Phuket. And uh, wow, the impression compared to Scoot yesterday is so different and it's very hard to believe that, that the carrier that Singapore Airlines owns is Scoot. So it will be interesting to compare both of those. This is very nice. Let's see if we can uh, check out the menu on board and then I'll recline the seat and everything once we take off.
right, so the entertainment system has now been activated. This is a hilarious contrast to Scoop because, I mean, talk about having a far, far better offering. Whoa, are you kidding? Oh my god, this system. Considering that their longest flights on uh, Thai Lion Air are like just a few hours, this is insane. So here's how flat the bed goes. And honestly, it feels much more flat than it looks now. I'm like, wait, is this all? But if you lay on your side, it actually feels really, really comfortable. And it's such, such a big difference from Scoop yesterday. Considering how cheap this usually is, this is one of those few excellent value products. So we also have this is what we get for free on this 90 minute flight. A bottle of water and a green curry chicken wrap, which I obviously can't eat, but that's fine. We have water, um, and yes. It's really quite crazy how cheap this is. $72 is less than $1 per minute for a lie flat seat. Now, to be honest, this is probably more comfortable than Condor because the seat is quite wide uh, and I just could get so comfy so I'm gonna take a little nap uh, and I'll see you in a few minutes. So I also want to show you guys we have USB right here and then a charging cord back right there and of course I didn't show you this either the tray table comes out from here. So that was fun and short. Honestly, I think this is one of the best value flights I've ever had in my life. Talk about an amazing seat and just comfort. And we have the entertainment system, charging, uh, all these things. I didn't check if there was Wi-Fi actually. Let's look at that. Such an incredible value, so I'm very happy. Uh, okay, it seems like there is no Wi-Fi, but that's fine. There is plenty of entertainment, and uh, given how little we're paying for this nice product, it's no big deal. Although I will mention one thing that's a little random, and that's that when I woke up, the entire cabin crew was sitting and chilling in the business house cabin since I'm the only passenger. Literally, like, every seat was taken, and uh, they were just chilling. So, I mean, I get it, but it's, it's also low cost, so it doesn't really, you know, I don't expect anything better, but it still looks a little bit rank. So, after four days of non-stop flying, I was so excited to finally be approaching Phuket, where I would spend two weeks volunteering at the Soy Dog Foundation, helping stray dogs from the Phuket area. It was such an amazing experience, guys. I so strongly recommend it if you like animals, if you like meeting other people. It's such an amazing thing to do. It's a great way to see Thailand and feel like you're doing something that's actually good with your time. So yeah, little did I know I was, I was about to be in for a real, real treat here. Alrighty, so for my Swedish viewers, what is this deal? Well, until November 11th, so you have about 10 days, you can get 25% higher sign-up bonus on all Amex cards, whether it's SAS 
or Amex. I'm a little pissed with SES right now. They just devalued their award chart and I think they did it in a very ugly way. So personally, actually for the past few months as well, I've been shifting more of my spend toward the Amex Gold card in Sweden, which is actually a fantastic card. I have a blog post about it down below, how it earns the most points of any credit card in Scandinavia. You also get lounge access and a bunch of awesome things. And right now you get a sign-up bonus of 125,000 points, which it doesn't sound as amazing as well, it isn't as amazing as it sounds. It, that's worth about 12,500 airline miles, but it's still great for a credit card in Sweden, and the earnings are so generous. So it's a great opportunity to sign up, get a few extra points, and um, yeah, you should really check that out. Uh, it's a great opportunity. These things only come around about once a year. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and fly safe.